and bam, the housing wait list is open for availability and affordability. Get in where you fit in. Good day, social media family. It's Kaylee here, back with another video discussing another gym and affordable housing. If this is your first time stopping across this channel, don't let it be your last. On this channel, we discuss all things related to real estate. So, if that is something that interests you, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every time we have a new up. We're going to go through how to get started and what you need to do to find these properties together. Are you ready? Today, we will be discussing tax credit housing. One may ask, what is tax credit housing textbook definition is the low income housing tax credit program is the most important resource for creating affordable housing in the united states today created by the tax reform act of 1986 the low income housing tax credit program gives state and local low income families a lot in agencies, the equivalent of approximately $10 billion in annual budget authority to issue tax credit for the acquisition, rehabilitation, or new construction of rural housing targeted to lower income households. <laughs> tax credit housing is just another affordable housing resource. Who qualifies? Great question. Tax credit housing is based income. I have done other videos that are also based income. However, those properties, you do not need any income. Section 42, you do need some type of income, but it works a little bit differently than you may have heard of before. Tax credit, you do need income. However, there is not a set amount that you need to make, but there is a maximum that you cannot exceed. So it still gives you a lot of room to work with because it is affordable and we will talk about how in just a second. Now, how to get started, the fun part, the most interesting part, how to get started. We're going to go through how to get started and what you need to do to find these properties together. Are you ready? Have you subscribed yet? No, we'll wait. You guys have subscribed and now we are ready for the sake of this video we are going to be doing our searching for housing in the state of new jersey new jersey does house 9.4 million individuals and it is the highest number one in property taxes therefore affordable housing is needed so what you're going to need is either your ipad or your laptop to do this search and once you have that you want to go to Google dot com google university is our best friend what you want to do once you have google pulled up is search tax credit housing now just a tip this will vary depending on what type of housing you are looking for apartment house townhome etc etc because that is what you're going to need to put in in google tax credit apartments tax credit house in whatever state and city that you live in. Once you have that list pulled up, it's not gonna just be right there in your face. You're gonna have to do some digging, investigation. When there's, there's some treasure out there on that beach, they didn't put it right there just for you to get it as soon as you walk on that nope. sand. You gotta do some digging, get your, get your dog on. <laughs> metal detector and all of this just saying that to say it's going to be work because if it was there everybody would be on it and you wouldn't have an opportunity to get in on this great opportunity so i say it to say you may click one link and you don't find what you're looking for don't give up there's still going to be some type of resource um information that you can use and you want to write it down so while you're at it Get, make sure you have your notebook and your pen to be able to write down that essential information. Such as, I'm going to click this first link. 
And on this link, it just tells me some information about tax credit housing. And then I scroll down, mm, it doesn't have a list of housing. However, they may still have some good information. If I don't happen to see any good information here, we're still going to bag out. And then we're going to go to the next link. Some more information on housing credit and action, why it's important, how many affordable housing that they have, and et cetera, et cetera. Okay. I'm doing this to show you that it's not going to be there right there in front of your face. It's just not. I go here. Now, this is some information that we need to know. New Jersey Housing Resource Center. One other gem I want to let you guys know is when you're searching for tax credit housing, same thing for Section 6, Section 7, and Section 8. They have apartments based on all age communities, 55 and plus. So you want to look at the description to be able to see if you truly qualify for this property, although, you know, it's under Section 42. So we're going to pull up our first housing. This housing is Mainland and Maine at City Center. This is located in Pleasantville, New Jersey. And let's check out their website. They have one bedrooms, two bedrooms, and three bedrooms. The address is 49 South Main Street, Pleasantville, New Jersey. 609-377-5985. Now, I want to point out that you see for the rent for each one, one bedroom, call for details, two bedroom, call for details, three bedroom, call for details. Does anybody have a guess? on why that is so. You can put it in the comments if you happen to have an answer. What I wanted you to say is they don't have a rent because it is based off your income. One thing I want you guys to notice when you're looking for your apartment house townhome is the equal housing opportunity icon. That is what you're looking for when you're looking to know, is it truly based off your income? Equal housing affordable opportunity. <laughs> Equal housing opportunity is a great opportunity. We've talked about it before and I will put the definition of equal housing opportunity right here. We're gonna move on to our next property. It is Grace West two apartments it is located in newark new jersey so we're gonna look at some pictures nice kitchen open area it's pretty open resource center Nice little area for you to do some homework, some studying. Okay. Nice, nice. Okay, we're going to bag up. We'll look at some pictures. Available unit pricing, 1400 to 2800 Square footage is around. You can get an apartment for studio. Square footage at 521 Or their largest apartment is over 1500 square feet. Okay. They do have one, two, and three in full bedrooms and a studio, as you guys can see. They do have some pricing. Now, they already are giving it away that these are income-based. Each one of these, you guys can see that it says income-based. If you do happen to click on a, a website that you're interested in, in their property, and you don't see those keywords of income-based, 
you know what you're looking for. You want to scroll, scroll. First, you want to check sure to make sure that you are the right age for this property. And then once you figure that out, you want to scroll, 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 and bam. Equal housing opportunity right at the bottom. And we know what equal housing opportunity is, is what? Let us know in the comments. We're going to move on to our next property and it is the Nobi at North Beach in Atlantic City, New Jersey. They have one, two, and three bedrooms as you guys see as soon as we pull up to the website. is It is in the smack of Atlantic City. They do have a rooftop, some whatever rooftop pool, um, a cooking grill area over there and it looks really nice to be able to come home to something like that every day. Motivating. We're gonna just scroll and see what they have to offer. Look at their amenities and just see what they got going on. Pool table, luxurious. Let's go, this is what we need to see. Kitchen. Okay. Now, on this one, we did not see the words income base on the apartments or any wording on their website. However, we're going to continue to scroll and we're going to see what we see. Address is 600 Atlantic Avenue, Atlantic City, New Jersey, 609-385-4524. At the bottom of their website, it says a limited number of income restricted renting units are available. So what does that mean to you guys? To me, that means this is based income. However, they do have a set amount of apartments that qualify for income base. Now, no one really knows on how many that is. If you are interested in this property, I would call the park manager and see what they have for you. This is the all age community. So to get in where you fit in. That's what I'm going to say. Get in where you fit in. Get in where you fit in. Okay. So we're going to look at one more property before we let you guys go. And it is Penrose Roosevelt Manor in Camden, New Jersey. And it's located at 813 Ferry Avenue, Camden, New Jersey, 08104. The housing wait list is open. That's what I'm talking about. This is what we're looking for, right, guys? We're looking for availability and affordability. Okay, please note we have transit online rent payment. You'll find a scenic camera rental community. Okay, so they have one bedroom apartments, two bedroom apartments. They also have two, three, and four bedroom townhomes. Fully equipped with kitchen, plenty of parking, luxurious. It's located close to Camden Waterfront and Rutgers University, Camden. Okay. Amenities, community room, landscape, community garden, on-site management, 24, all of this, all of that. Floor plans. 940 for one bedroom, 1100 for a two bedroom, 1200 for a three bedroom, 1300 for a four bedroom. Okay. Okay. They are open Monday through Friday. Hmm. They're only open three days a week. Excuse me. They're open three days a week, 8 30 through 5 p.m. And what does this say right here? This little house is identification for equal housing opportunity. I know y'all gonna get tired of me saying it. 
equal housing opportunity is what we need. Things are very expensive in this world. And I'm going to be doing a video coming up on individuals that cannot afford to pay the mortgage. I know that we've done videos and we hear individuals saying, get a job. They need to cut welfare. They need to cut tax credits. They need to cut this, cut that, cut everything. However, things are only getting more and more expensive. So where are individuals going to live? These resources are needed and I cannot say enough. These resources are needed. Tax credit, you have to have income. So it's not like one is not working and it's not like one is trying to put off the government. However, if it's so expensive and it's there, why not apply to see if you qualify to be able to pay some of your rent? Tax credit pays the remaining of your rent. You still have nice, quality, affordable living and you get to use your remaining of your money, not all on living, but you can use it on food, gas, different investment opportunities that will help you upgrade your quality of life the way you don't have to live and need tax credit, Section 7, Section 8. Stop it. If you're one of those individuals that constantly comments, welfare needs to be cut, we appreciate your input. However, it is needed to help out with these long-term solutions of rent being so expensive, mortgage being so expensive. So let's do a recap. Went over tax credit housing. To find tax credit housing, you would need to go to Google and know what type of housing you're looking for, whether that is apartments, townhomes, duplexes, single family, whatever it is, take it to Google and leave it there. No, don't leave it there. <laughs> if you have left someone, take it to the altar and leave it there. That's what I was referring to. So once you go to Google, you know what type of property you're looking for. You want to type in tax credit apartment, house, townhome, and in whatever city and state that you live in. For today's video, we did our search in New Jersey because New Jersey has a lot of residents and it is so expensive. So if you're in New Jersey, this video is for you and hop on all four of those different properties depending on where you live at. Once you find the property, if you happen not to be in New Jersey, it's for you too. You want to view the website, make sure that you know, <laughs> you want to view the website and you want to view it good because you're looking in the description to see if it's for 55 and older if, or if it's for all age communities because they do vary. Some apartments or houses or communities is for our elderly folks and then some of them are for all individuals where we can coexist with the young, the middle, and the elderly. You don't want to apply or even waste time on a property that you cannot even move to. If it's for 55 and up, recommend it for your grandmother, your uncle, your cousin, someone that is in that age range. No, you cannot get someone that is in that age range, put it in their name, and you move into it. That is not what we want. We want to make sure that we're doing it all the right way. That way we can focus and not have to always watch our backs. And because we're doing this to upgrade our quality of life. If this is your first time on this channel, over here, we always talk about upgrading your quality of life to be able to be up there with the big dogs. That's what we're in this for. So to do it the right way is to allow your mind to be at peace. And that allows you, again, to make good decisions. And the list goes on. It's a domino effect. So we want to do it the right way. If you're not 55 and up, don't apply or get someone to apply for a 55 and up property for you, your 30-year-old self, to live in. Next, when you're also on the property, you want to, once you're always on the property, once you're also on the website, you want to check out and see the words either income-based or look for that icon, equal housing opportunity, which is that small little house. I'll put it right here for your reference. If you guys have any questions about New Jersey or if you're in Kentucky, we will do videos on other different states. 
However, just for the sake of today's video, we thought New Jersey was a great state to start with. We have done videos on North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia. So if you happen to be in those states, check out those videos. So that wraps up today's video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you have not done already. I'm your host, Kaylee, and I'm checking out. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.